Hi guys, it's me. I am back. It's Sam. I want to say happy Thanksgiving. I'm actually filming this on Thanksgiving night. All the guests have left. The food has been eaten and I am stuffed and tired and I think I'm getting sick, which kind of stinks, but it's okay. Um, we had a great day and I hope you had one too, whether or not you celebrated or not. And I know I haven't filmed in a while, so I thought I would, I really wanted to film and I've gotten so many great things that I have really really wanted to share with you so i'm going to be doing that let's get started the first thing is the dollar tree and i don't go there that often because i could get into trouble there i would i feel like i need everything in the store and i can buy multiples of everything because it's so cheap um i went in there and got this reindeer headband you get two and you get a brown brown and a white and it does come with bells but i feel like the bells aren't obnoxious but we'll have to see once I start walking them, um, if they're going to be annoying. But I thought I could get this for, it was more for school because I work with little kids. And I thought that this would be nice um, to wear the last day before we all go on break. And then the other, I could also wear this on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So it's not just wasted on one day. And then next are these uh, treat bags you get eight and I really like the way that this looks they had a few options but this one I felt like was most festive and you also get the this comes with twisty ties at the top already in there so you don't have to worry about that and I work with a very small group of people and I just I don't can't buy gifts for every single person so I thought what I would do is because I really want to give everybody something uh, is to bake cookies so that's what I'm gonna do that's why I got these bags and I thought that was I want to share that with you just in case you needed ideas for multiple people uh, next is something for my sister she got me a mug from Starbucks and I don't go there that often but I really like Starbucks so I was so happy when she gave this to me this is a mug and it is a fox mug you guys know I am obsessed with foxes and I thought this was so cute and I am a person that's not holiday theme specific like for um I will put these like I wouldn't put this away for the summertime or anything I would use this all year but if you are kind of holiday themed um this has trees and snow so you could wear you could use this for I feel like winter like from I don't know December to March um, so you could use it for a while and just so cute and the tail is the handle how cute or the handle is the tail uh, next is this let me put that down uh, this is uh, again for my sister it's forever 21 a bunch of bracelets which I think they are so cute looking and I can't wait to wear them oh one more thing quickly that's just kind of random i have printed out this christmas tv schedule and it's just a bunch of holiday movies and tv shows that they uh this person put together the website is in case i forget to link it which i probably will um it's facebook.com slash christmas tv schedule um they don't have this but uh they, it's where they post highlights and what's been added to the schedule recently which i'm sure they'll put a link for this as well so um this has all the classics which i love catching the classics on tv like frosty the uh, snowman and rudolph the red-nosed reindeer because they just remind me of my childhood and i love catching those shows and there's grandma got run over by a reindeer and polar express they don't have every single thing that's holiday related but they have a lot and i think this is just a great go-to easy um if you need to find something on uh that's holiday related okay next is from trader joe's i got the one thing this is the trader joe's coconut body butter and i have heard so many great things i really wanted to try it and most of the time what i do with body butters is i mix it in with my moisturizer so I'll do kind of like 60 40 60 with the moisturizer and then 40 with the coconut butter or body butter and um, I'm excited to try this it's winter time my skin is a bit drier so I'll be using that for sure and I forgot to show you from the Dollar Tree a few beauty products uh, this is the dry shampoo it says compared to dove hair therapy which I like that range from the brand uh, so dry shampoo and I have been using dry shampoo a lot more so if it's from the Dollar Tree let me try it I like the hair color uh, the 
in the box. Uh, so I'll try that. And then this is another hair product. This is the Shine and Finish Hairspray Holds Your Style. I'll see. I trying to find a hairspray that works for me. I haven't been that lucky. Uh, then I got a couple things from Target. I'll show you those first. Um, and they're all by Maybelline. This is the 24 color tattoo in the crayon, which I know has been out for a while. I love the ones in the pots and I thought I would try it. So this is creamy chocolate and it's this one right here, but it looks like it's bronze. So I don't know where creamy chocolate comes in from. And then here is the Maybelline, another Maybelline color tattoo product. And this is the one that's has a doe foot applicator and it is beige luster so it looks like that and then here is the swatch down there both of them are really really pretty and I had gotten another color of this that I wasn't in love with uh, so I wanted to try a color that I liked and as far as this they both Actually, they both last really long on my hand, but my eyelids are so oily that I thought I would, um, the real test is in the pudding, so I am going to try these on my eyelids with the primer, of course, because that's just, I do that all the time anyway. Uh, next are, uh, I was looking through a magazine or I saw an advertisement where the model was wearing this really cool lip color and I did a search and I think I found the ones. Um, it's this, it's these gray beige lipsticks, so I think that's where the word grayish comes from. Uh, so I got the Gone Grayish, which is more gray, this, this one there. And then I got Gray Over It, which is a little bit more brown. And it's this one. And these lip colors, I know some of you are like totally turned off, but there's something appealing about these and kind of... I don't know, like vampire, lady of the night maybe? Well, not lady of the night, scratch that. Just sexy a little bit, so I'm gonna play with these. I have worn both of these and kinda look sick slash, I don't know, so we'll be playing with those. Next is Elf, and I haven't gotten Elf in a very long time, our online order anyway, and so I was at Menlo Mall, which is my favorite mall in Jersey, and an e.l.f. store opened up, which I was so excited about. So I went in, I kind of bought stuff that I shouldn't have, and then I had buyer's remorse. I looked online and I saw they were doing 50% off, so I was like, I'm going to return that stuff. And I was able to, when I ordered online, get an extra product for about the same price, so I didn't feel so bad. But... I saw some new things that I didn't know that they had, and let me show you. Uh, I'm going to show you some old things first. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. You guys know I have been battling pore in my T-zone, extra large pores in my T-zone, and like around here, so I'm going to try this one. I have tried one, another one before. What got me upset was the pump broke, and I was just like, ah. So hopefully the pump will not break on this. And then I am also trying the e.l.f. Nourishing Night Cream. And I just needed a heavier moisturizer, so let me show you what it looks like. I love the packaging. This color is just really nice. And yeah, just much thicker. I have a day cream one. And I use the day cream one as a night cream because it doesn't have SPF. Not the greatest. Um, I don't know why I thought that would work. Um, so I wanted to try the night cream to see. And it looks much, much thicker. Uh, which I feel like is works better at nighttime. And then next is their, they have this line. I think it's called Beautifully Precise. Um, this is the Precision Sponge Trio. And I have been obsessed with like beauty blender uh, sponge applicator things just I just feel like they make makeup apply much faster so it looks like this you get three sizes now I am NOT a fan of the little sponges um, but this one looks kind of like it'll be a good size for under the eye and then blush or contour and then this one would be good for the face it seems harder than um, I mean you you can only really compare it to the beauty blender, right? So seems like it's a little bit harder, but we'll see how it goes. And 
Um, so I got that. Now the Beautifully Precise wasn't 50% off online. Um, it doesn't apply to the sale, which I just don't like when e.l.f. does that. There's a few things I don't like about e.l.f., but I wanted to try it anyway. I also got the e.l.f. Beautifully Precise. I guess I don't have to say that. This is all from that line. This is the Precision Airbrush Stipple. And these feel so soft. So I got that one. And then I also got the Precision Airbrush Blender, which um, I thought this could be good for blush and contour and powder. So I think this is going to be a great all-around product. I don't know what this may be highlighter, contour too. So um, excited to try that stuff. Next is... Oh. So, I don't normally order from QVC. I've ordered one thing before, and it was for my sister. Um, but I saw this from It Cosmetics, and I had to get it. I I just kept on thinking about it and thinking about it, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it because I've always wanted to try it. You, just, you normally hear positive reviews all around, so I, uh, I know that they are... They, make products that are good for the skin so this value wait till you see it so it's it cosmetics and it's it's your five superstars and more it's a six piece collection so you it, you're getting five of their best sellers and then one new product which is the brush and i'm quickly going to share, share this with you because it's probably going to be in a christmas haul so hold on one second okay so you get the pamphlet and it tells you how to use it and there's some other products that they talk about in there and so here is what you get this is the celebration foundation illumination and then the bye bye under eye concealer the brow power universal brow pencil the genesee qua lip treatment and then the superstar mascara which i believe is also new uh but this is brand new this is the brush and i have i got the one in light and i tested myself to make sure that it matches um, and what's funny about this is I'm gonna my mom is always asking me what I want for Christmas my family is always asking me and I'm like I don't need anything but I thought this time I was like you know what? I really want this so you could give this to me I have to give it back to her so she could wrap it and everything but I have been wanting to try every single thing on here except for the mascara and the brush because those are kind of new um this just I'm just so excited to try this now what would have put it over the edge and I wish they would have included it was the CC cream, but everything, I'm just super excited. And even though I know what I'm getting, I'm still really excited to uh, be receiving this. So uh, I got that. And then the last thing is from the Sephora VIB sale. I did get some things that were, uh, I got a couple things that were on my in my cart online for a while. So um, I finally broke down and got those with the 20%. It was just a really great price. And makeup doesn't go on sale, especially at Sephora. Uh, but this was an impromptu buy. This is the Bosha Mask It All. And you get the Luminizing Black Mask, which I am obsessed with those. Like putting like black things on your face or black uh, mask on your face and peeling, peeling it off. So you get a full size of this. Then you get three other... Uh, mask type products and it was $49 and I know this cost around 30 something dollars so I could not pass this up and I've been wanting, wanting to try that luminizing black mask um, I also got the this is the Clarisonic which is a two pack deep, deep pore brush head and I love the Clarisonic I just got away from it for a little while so I thought I would get this one because I've been meaning to try it and um, I don't I'm not going to use this every day because it's just a little too rough for my sensitive skin. But a few times a week, um, it's going to make me a happy girl. And then next is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. This one is in 52 Medium Warm. I went to the store several times, tried to match myself, and I thought I was in the 40s, but that was just way too light. So it's better to test on your face. I know a lot of people do it on, <laughs> do it on their hand, but I feel like you know you're gonna put it on your face so match to your face and then this is what it looks like it's so pretty um and i like a full coverage foundation and i've heard just again positive reviews about this product so i am excited i'm really excited about all the stuff that i share with you and i haven't i know this was a lot of makeup products i haven't bought really much makeup in the last uh, several months so i kind of 
went a little bit over than I normally would have, but I'm still, again, I'm really happy about the things that I've gotten. And, um, yeah, I am hopeful that I will be back to making more videos, but during the week, I am just so tired. And sometimes I fall asleep, like, looking at my phone when I am on my bed, so I... You know, I've just no time to make videos, but hopefully um, I will get back to making more. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!